Every so often, there comes a movie so sick, so twisted, so incredibly insane, the critics shout, Oscar calling, Oscar calling. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Unending torment. Meet Dr. Caligari. She's chic. She's hip. She's morally reprehensible. She's evil. She's a flat-out sadist. A sex Nazi. How do I make you feel? My feelings are like filthy prayers. I'm a juice dog. I'm a twitching ski ball. And you won't let me shiver. Bon appetit. She's the granddaughter of the infamous Dr. Caligari. To her, your brain's an open house. You've got to learn to just say yes. The critics cheered when Dr. Caligari took the midnight movie circuit by storm. Perhaps I should prescribe a sedative for you. This movie screams art. I got an EKG you can dance to. Everybody limbo. The LA Times stamped its approval. Consistently outrageous and imaginative. I call it disgusting. I'm on a radiation vacation soaking up the gammas. Funny thing about desire. If it's not crude, it's not pure. On college campuses, she's the new homecoming queen. She's got style. She's got class. She's got people talking everywhere. Excitement's the essence of life. When it's over, you're dead. She's racy, irreverent, and radical. Dr. Caligari. The twisted passions of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the all-consuming hunger of eating Raoul, and the outrageous excess of pink flamingos. Describe your life in three words or less. She's the surrealistic psychiatrist with the totally camp couch, Dr. Caligari. She's got the cure for midnight madness. Surprise! Oh, you're gonna savor this. <laughs>